皆さん、こんにちは。A lot of updates for you today. It seems that things are finally moving. So let's jump into the news together and let's see what I have prepared for you. Before I start, I want to say a few words for who is coming to my channel for the first time. Hi everyone, my name is Davide. I run a study abroad business here in Japan called Gogo Nihon. And since early this year, I've been involved in a lot of activities together with educationisnotourist.com to help raising awareness on the situation of international students and ask Japan to open the borders. I want in fact start with an update on our website, educationisnotourist.com, where we have reached now over 440 supporters. Many of them are actually companies, so the number of people involved is higher. This is an extraordinary result, considering we just started a few months ago. Thanks to that, we could be more influential and add more pressure for the borders to open. This is extraordinary, considering we just started a few months ago. Thanks to that, we could be more influential and add more pressure for the borders to reopen. And of course, it's not just thank to the supporters, but it's also to thank to all of you who have been liking and sharing the content on this channel and also participating to our live events. We were also successfully able to reach a total of six MP, politicians in the parliament, and talk to them directly on Zoom. The reaction was very positive, and in particular, Kaeda-san, the former Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry, and now MP, showed big words of support and willingness to bring this into the parliament. I'm hopeful that also thanks to the conversation we had this week, something will move. Other news this week have seen Kaidan Land, Japan Business Federation, actually the largest business federation in Japan, urge the government on September 6 to relax travel regulation. Representatives of Kaidan Land submitted the proposal to Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga the same day. When Suga-san received the proposal from Kaidan Land, he was open to the idea of relaxing the measure step by step. Also, at the same time, the European Business Council in Japan, EBC, fully supported the recent statement by the Japan Business Federation, Kaidan Len. Talking about Europe, Japan is said to be scrabbled from EU safe travel list over COVID-19 rate. Germany has already added Japan to its list of high risk areas, subject to tighter entry restrictions. Although this is a negative news, I think those type of action will also put more pressure on the Japanese government, which until now has had, let's say, an easy life, since Japanese people could go to Europe, but also in other G7 countries, not just as a students and workers, but also as a visitors. I think reciprocity is a must in a globalized world. There is also another petition for student workers and families by Yogi, who is an Indian-born Japanese politician and the first person of Indian origin to win an election in Japan. I personally tried to contact Yogi, I don't know him yet, I tried to contact him through his website, but I didn't receive a reply. However, I think this initiative is valid and I invite all of you to fill it. Another petition is done by the Rokudan Tai, a group of six organizations which I already mentioned in other videos in the past and includes several language schools, universities, vocational schools, they will submit a petition from the language school specifically to Suga-san in September asking the, to reopen the borders. That's everything for today. September will be a key month for all of us. I don't know anything for sure, but personally I have a feeling that some decision will be made on the borders and some groups will be let in. Since Kaidanlen has spoken, I feel something will be decided, at least for business travel. We don't want students, families and other type of workers to be forgotten again. So I'll ask all of you to work with me as much as you can this month. Follow the news, follow me on Twitter, participate to any initiative you can. Please like and share this video and our event videos and try to share the content of the events we made and anything related to the situation of international students, workers and families, to any possible connection you have, even if it's a group on Facebook, a journalist from a small newspaper. I hope September will be the month where you and all of us can hear some very good news. Please stay positive as always, and I'll see you all in the next video. Matane!